guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you guys a hodgepodge video and basically what this video is is I have three different things I need to talk about and I'm gonna do it all in this one video. So it'll probably be kind of a long video but well worth it. So the very first thing I have is a thrifty books haul and then I have a book of the month unboxing and then I also have some updates for you guys on my Instagram and some fun things that's going to be happening on there. And if you did not notice, I have dyed my hair light pink. I posted a poll on my bookstagram um, and you guys chose light pink. It was between light pink and mauve and you guys picked light pink. So thank you. I really like it. Um, I tried doing a rose gold at first and it didn't work. So I went a little bit darker, but now it's I'm kind of seeing that blonde pink that rose gold is supposed to be. So I really like it. So thank you guys for voting. Um, and without further ado, let's get started with this video. So guys, thrifty books. If you have not been on there before, I want to say it is well worth it. This is my first order from thrifty books. So I don't actually know the quality of the books, but I know the quality of the website was amazing. I absolutely loved ordering from them. So I kind of put myself on a budget. I said no more than $20. I ended up spending $22.95, not that much over, not compared to normal when I go over online shopping because I really am an online shopping addict to be completely honest. Um, but Thrifty Books basically is a app that you can download right to your smartphone. It's also a website and it's like old libraries, old bookstores, places that have closed down, um, send their books to Thrifty Books and um, sell them so that people can buy them for a cheaper price and they're used books so it's kind of like an online secondhand bookstore. Um, I loved this website for the main reason of everything is really, really cheap. You can buy a lot for a, a little price. And on top of that, they have this really amazing thing at checkout where I was about to order a book for, I believe, $3.99. And they were like, hey, you can get this book cheaper and in better condition. It told me that I could get it for cheaper. And I feel like no website ever does that. It's normally like, oh, like we have this cheaper, but don't tell them they'll buy the more expensive one. And it was in better condition. So I ended up going from a $3.99 to a $3.95, which I know is only a four cent difference. Thank you Thrifty Books for being so awesome on that front. Um, so I have here, I have the prices and the condition of the books. I will say the shipping was super, super fast. I got some of the books in about three days and I got the other books in about four days. So not bad at all. So it came in two different bags. I did open up the bags, but I have not looked in the books yet. So I don't know what kind of condition the books are in. And I am kind of interested about that. So I have on here, I have the condition of the books the price and where it's shipped from. So I will tell you guys that stuff as I'm looking at the books. So without further ado, let's look at my thrifty books haul. So I'm gonna start with this bag actually came first. So we're gonna start with this one. And this bag I know has four books in it because I remember when I saw the shipping that it had four books in one bag and two books in the other bag. I didn't look to see what books were in what bag. So we're finding out together. So let's start with this one. Okay. So this is the Diary of Anne Frank, and I read the Diary of Anne Frank in middle school, um, but we read it as the play, and I've always been interested in reading, like, the actual diary. So this one cost $3.79. It says that it was in acceptable condition, and it shipped from Maryland. So... If you guys don't know what the Diary of Anne Frank is about, basically it is a true story about a 13 year old girl who was hiding in an attic from German soldiers during the Holocaust and her life and the first experiences that she had to have as a 13 year old girl in an attic, super small space hiding um, that ultimately led up to them getting caught um, which I don't mind telling you guys because it's not really a spoiler alert because this is like a real piece of history that you guys should have learned about in school. So if you have not learned about in school, um, maybe you're just not old enough to learn about it in school. I feel like I read the play version in eighth grade, but I have never actually read the real diary. So I'm really excited to read this. And I know that she calls her diary Kitty 
and it's basically just it's got some pictures in this version but it's basically just a really heartbreaking tale of a girl who was trying to just be 13 and didn't get that opportunity because she had to hide in an attic so it was in acceptable condition and I would say that is completely accurate. I noticed that there's one dog-eared page, which I don't like dog-earing my pages. I used to and then I started collecting bookmarks, so I don't need to do that anymore. But I saw one dog-eared page. The, the pages are a little um, kind of discolored, but it doesn't smell bad. I'm excited to read this. I think it's in pretty good condition for a used book and the fact that it was only listed as acceptable condition makes me hopeful for the ones that are listed in really good condition. So that was book number one. Book number two. Let's go into our handy dandy bag of books. Ooh, let's go with Memoirs of an Imaginary Friend. So this is kind of weird to me because the very first thing I see is that it has the Brooklyn Public Library barcode and I feel so weird owning a book that was from the library because I feel like every time you see like that barcode it's like oh I have to return that book but now I own one with the barcode. I don't know if that's just a me thing but yeah. Um, so this is Memoirs of an Imaginary Friend and it is by Matthew Dix. And this is about a boy who has an imaginary friend named Budo, and he, his, um, it's kind of taken place from Budo's point of view, I believe. Yes, it's taken place from Budo's point of view, um, and basically his child that has dreamed him up is named Max, who has Asperger's Syndrome. Um, and he has believed in his imaginary friend a lot longer than most kids believe in their imaginary friends. And Budo is like really hopeful that they're going to stay imaginary friends for all of Max's life. Um, but so basically the little boy gets into trouble. I feel like he gets kidnapped. I don't actually know if that's true or not. But basically this teacher who thinks that she knows everything that's good for this little boy, um, I think she takes him and it's up to the imaginary friend to save him. So this is a really unique perspective that I was really excited about. So this one was $3.99. So this is the one book that cost a little bit more than the other ones. And it said that it was in good condition, which I would say yes it is. I don't see any tears. There's a little dirt on it. And I mean, it's obviously got the barcode crossed out and it's a little beat up, but not anything unreadable. And it shipped from Maryland. And this one came in the first uh, bunch of books that I got. So this one sounds really good. This might actually be like coming up on my to be, to be read list. So the next one we have, oh, bag got stuck. Okay, so this is Full Tilt by Neil Shusterman. So, true story, this is the book that got me into reading. Neil Shusterman's books really changed my life when I was in middle school, high school age. Um, I was a very, very slow reader. I tend to have a more photographic memory. I like to remember like exactly what page certain quotes are on and stuff like that. So, um, it's very hard for me to read fast because I constantly find myself trying to memorize. Um, and I was really struggling in school, like really struggling with like the reading aspect of school to the point where I just wouldn't read the books. And I would like skim them and spark note them. And I didn't have a great grade in English class, which is weird because it was my favorite subject. But anyway, so I got this book back in middle school, I want to say eighth grade, um, from a book fair that we had. And I read it in like two days. It just got me so hooked into reading and I've read a ton of books by Neil Shusterman. I find them super fascinating. Basically, this one is about a boy whose brother kind of gets lost into this different dimension carnival where nothing is as it seems and it's really playing on your biggest, deepest, darkest fears for everything. And he has to find a way to save him and his friends who have been sucked into this carnival. Um, I loved this book and I tried so hard getting other people to read it and no one would but now my best friend is a super big reader like I am so I'm hoping I can hook her into this book too. 
too. But I'm really excited to read this again. Honestly, I feel like I want to read it next. It's a super short read. If I read it in a couple days in eighth grade, I'm sure I could read it in a couple days now. Like, I'm pretty excited that I own this book again. But this book was $3.79 in good condition from Maryland. I see absolutely nothing wrong with this book. The pages have like little dents in them. Oh, okay. I do see it. It looks like somebody chewed like a dog or somebody might have chewed on the corner of the book. Okay, I do see how that's not great, but still, there's nothing. The spine is definitely worn, but that's okay because I can hold the book open and not have to crack the spine myself. So, I'm excited that I own this book. I have not found anything wrong with any of these books yet. So, really great website, Thrifty Books, is what I've kind of ultimately decided here. So, the last book that came from Maryland, which was the first book bag that I got, was Mockingjay. I have read this book before. It's by Susan Collins. It's the third book in the Hunger Games series. I've read it um, and I do own the other two books from the Hunger Games series so I saw this and I just wanted to get it. But basically if you haven't read the Hunger Games series it's about like a future dystopia where a girl is thrown into a competition where she has to kill other children and she ends up falling in love with the boy and this is kind of like the third book where they're trying to change the world and change their um, country from the evil President Snow. So this is the last book of it. Um, so this book was $3.79. It has a big deal written on it, which means that normally this book does not go for $3.79 on their website. I'm assuming because it is an uh, part of a series and a popular series that it probably goes for a lot more. So this um, came from Maryland and it was in acceptable condition. So I do see some like red on the spine, but again, it's at acceptable condition, not good condition. So I don't, I wouldn't even expect it to be in this great of condition because normally if you get something from like eBay that says it's acceptable, it's like partially broken. Um, the pages are a little bent and worn. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they are a little bent and torn down there. Um, but overall, it's perfectly readable. I can definitely see where people were dog airing the pages. Why did people dog ear their pages? Don't dog ear your pages. Get a bookmark. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's in great condition. So everything from bag one that came from Maryland, which I've said like 75 times now, um, was in great condition. So we're gonna open up bag number two, which came from Illinois. So bag number two, there's only two books in here because I got six books from Thrifty Books for $22.95. So $22.95, yes, $22.94, six books. For $22.94 so there's only two books in this bag. We're gonna pull out the first one which is Little and Lion. So this is one that I just stumbled across on there. I have never actually heard of it before. That was the same for um, Memoirs of an Imaginary Friend. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Memoirs of an Imaginary Friend. I've never heard of these two books before but I'm excited to read them. They sounded really good. Um, so this is Little and Lion and I got this was uh, 379 and it was in good condition and obviously shipped from Illinois because that's where the second bag came from. It's got a beautiful little dust jacket. Um, ooh, maybe I'll break it. Um, but the inside looks like this. Uh, this one clearly did not come from a library because you can take it out of the dust jacket where library books you cannot take out of the dust jacket. It's usually sealed down by plastic. So I don't know what this came from, but um, it's basically about a girl named Suzette um, and her stepbrother Lionel who has bipolar disorder um, and needs a lot of emotional support. So she goes to kind of help out and be around him with the emotional support um, and all of a sudden she finds herself falling in love with a girl who's the same girl that her brother is in love with. So this is kind of a diverse book with LGBT community and also uh, mental health struggles, um, which are two things that I do like to read about. Um, just because I really like diversity and stuff like that and I've always been really interested in mental health. Like always, I really feel like I should have gone into psychology, but... <laughs> I didn't, I went into creative writing, so, but I feel like, um, mental health and creative writing go together so much because you're constantly having to study people anyway for creating your characters. So this is Little and Lion by Brandy Colbert. I'm very excited to read this. Um, it is kind of long, but the print is huge. I don't know if you guys can see that. So the print is huge. So 
again probably on my future TBR almost every single book I got in this haul was like books that I wanted to read right away except Mockingjay because I've already read the Hunger Games series 8,000 times but I just really wanted to have all three books because I like them so much so but this is Little in Line and then our last book that also shipped from Illinois is Neil Shusterman, another Neil Shusterman book, and this is Chasing Forgiveness, and this is about a boy named Preston whose father killed his mother when he was a child, and he has lived with his grandparents ever since, and um, basically his father is about to get out of prison, and he has to decide, like, if he's going to forgive him, if he's going to talk to him, and his grandparents have already forgiven him, so kind of just a story of how forgiveness impacts us. Um, forgiveness is a huge thing in my life. I believe in second chances. So it was something that I was really interested in. Um, this book I got for $3.79 in good condition from Illinois. It is an old library book. You can see the barcode on it. It came from Columbus Metropolitan Library. Um, and because it's in good condition, I see almost nothing wrong with it except it's got a few pen marks on the spine there but again I see nothing wrong with this so overall thrifty books amazing website great books secondhand books that are in amazing condition and so so cheap so cheap so I got all six of those books for $22.94 the shipping was free because if you get it shipped in the United States anything over $10 is free so the website the app I will show you guys it's under my shopping apps, but it looks like it's, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's right there. It's got three little book pictures on it, and you can start scrolling through books. You can search books. Another thing that I did is there's two books that I really want to buy. So I added it to my wish list and I get updates in my email whenever one of those books go on sale. So I just got one this morning. Normally Refugee sells for about $17.99. Today I got an email saying that it was on sale on Thrifty Books for 11 something. So again amazing they really do look out for giving you discounts for giving you the opportunity to get cheaper better books so thrifty books a definite must we're moving on to the next section of this video since thrifty books took forever but this is a little bit small smaller of a uh, haul this is the book of the month book box um if you guys don't know what book of the month is basically they guarantee that you get a book a month shocker right um, but the idea is so that everybody has a new book to read every month. Now, if you go to their website, um, I don't know if I found a link through Instagram or what, but basically I went on and for my first order, I, if I bought a book, I got a book free. So buy a book, get a book free for your first order. So I went ahead and I did that and, ooh, so... I'll show you guys when I open it up it is very nicely packaged it looks right on top like there's a bookmark which you guys know I collect um, and I did end up getting two books since I had to buy one get one free and on the box it says read love repeat and it kind of even opens up like a little book so that's cute so let's open these up I do know what books I ordered you do get that choice you can also put like random or something like that like surprise me something like that so on the bottom was this and it's just how to post your book of the month on Instagram with their tags so that they can repost their favorite ones and on the back it says book of the month is better with friends invite your friends and get an extra book for free so there's that and then right on top we have a bookmark um, as you guys know, I collect bookmarks, so this will be added to my collection, and I'm super happy about the quote that's on the back because it's J.K. Rowling. You guys know I love J.K. Rowling. Love the Harry Potter books. I do not own the Harry Potter books. I've said this in the past. I've read them so many times that now if I want to read them, I just play them on audiobook because I've read them so many times. But the quote is, wherever I am, if I've got a book with me, I have a place I can go and be happy. True that, Sister Rowling through that. Mm -hmm. So bookmark. So then the two books that I chose were The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager and The Book of Essie by Megan McLean Ware. So these books sound so good. Oh my gosh. What am I going to read next guys? Currently I'm reading The Gone Away Place and it came in my anchor chest box but now I have to decide what I'm going to read when that one's done because I only have like 100 pages left of it. Guys, 
for real. This is like a true toss up. But the last time I lied is about four girls that were at summer camp together and three of them went missing. The one who did not go missing is now an artist and a socialite in New York City and she is offered the chance to go back to the camp where her friends disappeared and see if she can um, kind of solve the mystery. Um, but she's actually offered the opportunity to go be an art teacher there and she notices that there's like cameras outside of her cabin and like all this creepy stuff going on so she's gonna try to solve the mystery of what happened to her friends this sounds so amazing i'm so excited for this book it is brand new beautiful condition never opened guys oh it smells like a new book guys guys loving book of the month so far and the second book I got was the book of Essie and this was my free book that I ordered and this one sounds so good too I keep saying that about all the books but this one sounds so good it is about a girl named Essie which is short for Esther who is a child reality star star she's 16 years old and she's on a show called six for Hicks which is about her very conservative pastor father um, and that's what he kind of appears to the media but not all is true and Essie actually finds out she's pregnant and her mom has to have the producers help them make the decision if they're going to sneak her out of the country for an abortion or pretend she's getting married and then bam she's pregnant later or um uh, uh kind of pass the baby off as the mom's baby so this is about like a girl who's kind of under the spotlight and has to live up to her father's very conservative reputation in public when she's not doing so many great things so this sounds so good too. And look guys, it has like the book of the month little boxy thing. Both of them do. So I don't know if that means that these are like custom dust jackets. They must be. So this book was $25.95 and this book was $26 even. This is US prices. And I only paid $16.19 total with shipping for this box so it was cheaper than even just one book is how much I paid for this box and because I got like the first month discounted code that's kind of why but guys it's a super great deal you get a bookmark and two books for less than $17 so book of the month you win you win definitely a great great um system you're guaranteed to get a book a month you aim to read that book a month I've been super bad with reading these last couple months um I went from reading nine books in the month of May to four books in the month of June and I am only on my third for the month of July and we only have two weeks left so guys my summer reading has not been up to par but I've been teaching dance so much this summer but pretty soon I get four weeks off and those four weeks are going to be hardcore devoted to reading because I'm not going to have money because I'm not going to be working for four weeks. But also because I have so many books I have to read. Guys, I have eight books right here that I have to read. Oh, okay. So lastly, as promised, I'm going to be answering some stuff from Instagram and kind of giving you some updates about things that are going to come up in the future. So my Instagram got a huge like follower burst all of a sudden. Um, I ended up gaining 100 followers overnight one night. Amazing. Thank you guys so much. However, I am still only at like 300 something followers and I really want more. So I'm going to make you guys a deal. Here's the deal. If I get a thousand followers, when I reach that number, I will do Instagram controls my life and I know a ton of people are doing this right now but I'm gonna do it like extreme version Instagram controls my life so basically you guys are gonna get to decide like what my makeup looks like what my hair looks like all the basic stuff for that day but also I'm gonna go out and do like embarrassing things too I don't drive so I have to take Ubers everywhere so like one of the things is gonna be like if I should have a normal Uber ride or if I should try to convince the Uber driver that if he that he is a book character like a character from a book that I read guys I'm gonna go out and basically do a ton of ridiculous stuff you guys are gonna be controlling it you guys are gonna be in charge of it for that day if I reach a thousand subscribers so when I hit the number 1,000 that will happen now in order to do that, you have to share, you have to share my posts, you have to tag your friends, all that stuff. So, also, one of the questions will be, should I do a giveaway? Should I not do a giveaway? So, 
The fate is in your hands, really. If I reach a thousand subscribers, a giveaway is happening because I know you guys are gonna pick do a giveaway. Like if you don't pick do a giveaway, cool. I won't do a giveaway, but if you pick do a giveaway, I'm gonna do a giveaway. So you guys, please, 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 please go follow me on Instagram. Click subscribe below. I'm super excited. Another thing I'm gonna start doing is a really fun thing where if you change one letter of a book title, how it will become a different book. So we're gonna start with Heaven is for Real, and Heaven is for Real is by Todd Burpo. Um, and if you guys don't know the story, it's about a little boy who temporarily died. He was brought back to life, but while he was considered dead, he went to heaven and kind of met his grandfather. We're gonna change the title with just one letter. So we're gonna change it from Heaven is for Real to Heaven is for Seal. And my new book is about a little boy who is determined to go to heaven and find his dead pet fish seal. So I posted this on Instagram and a couple of the book clubs that I am on online and I said that I would do some shout outs for people who could come up with some good ones. So as you guys saw, I came up with the Heaven is for Real, turned to Heaven is for Seal. So here's what some other people came up with. So this one came from Jennifer and she is in one of my book clubs and she changed The Widow of the South by Robert Hicks to The Widow of the Mouth. It is about an epidermatologist who discovers a rare plague that is only transmitted by mouth when someone is kissed, but not until they tell a lie. Boom. People suddenly start dropping dead and nobody is safe. I said that sounds like a really good book. I would read that book. It sounds pretty good. So then another one comes from the same book club. It is from Ray, and she changed Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck to Of Mice and Ken, and she said that it is about when Barbie goes on tour, Ken is left in charge of the dream house, but when a family of mice moves in, chaos ensues. Guys, that sounds hilarious. I'm up for reading that book. And the last one came from my Instagram, and it is from The Creased Pages. And she wrote, or he, sorry, I don't actually know if it's a girl or a boy, um, but the creased pages wrote, fantastic beasts and where to find them, changes to fantastic feasts and where to find them. So fantastic beasts by JK Rowling has changed to fantastic feasts and where to find them. And it is about a story of wonderful food from across the globe. Yes, thank you. Let's make that a real book. That sounds delicious. So if you guys have a funny one of your own, check out your bookshelves and change one letter of the title. Not rearranging the title or anything, just moving, just taking one letter out and putting a new letter in and tell me what it is in the comments below and I will feature some more. I'm gonna post this again on my Instagram every week, in my book clubs every week and read you guys some of the favorite, my favorite ones from those every new video. So please go ahead and give that a try. Again, if you guys go follow and I reach or reach a thousand subscribers, I will do Instagram controls my life. And if you guys subscribe on here and I reach, ooh, let's see, if I reach 500 subscribers on YouTube, we'll start there. We'll start with 500. I will do a giveaway of one of these amazing books you guys can pick. So any of these books that you guys saw today, I will do a giveaway if I reach 500 subscribers on YouTube. So go ahead, subscribe, turn on the notification button, follow me on Instagram. I'll post that link down below. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you go check out Thrifty Books and Book of the Month. They were great deals. Please, please, please go look them up because you will not be sorry. So thank you guys so much for watching and see you later.